Hey, how's it going, y'all? We're in Savannah, Georgia, and your names are? Anna Allen Westbrook. Louise Frazier. All right. Uh, please tell me a little bit about what you're doing this afternoon and uh, what it's about. Uh, we're here this afternoon um, raising people's awareness about a very dangerous bill that's on, sitting on the governor's desk right now. It's House Bill 280, um, and it would put guns on all um, public, college, and university campuses in Georgia, regardless of whether um, administration, faculty, staff, students want them there. What's the reception so far? Um, well, this is something that the Georgia legislature has been trying to do every year for about five years. It is uh, wildly unpopular with Georgians in general. Um, polling shows about 78% of Georgians are against it. And uh, in college communities, it's extremely unpopular. Um, all 29 college presidents have come out against it, as well as their police chiefs. Campus police chiefs, they believe it will make campuses less safe rather than more safe, um, and they're concerned about the potential increase in um, suicides, unintentional shootings, as well as um, homicides, potentially. It seems to me that uh, many of our legislators never have time or resources. They, they, they say, you know, we don't have money to, we're not co communists or we're not socialists, we cannot feed the hungry, we cannot shelter the homeless, but they, somehow they always have time for, for, for this. That's true, that's true, yeah, and I, and I think, you know, you bring up the financial piece of this, I think it's important to note this is an unfunded mandate, so there is not one dollar allocated for training, for additional police, for additional insurance coverage, um, for anything associated with this bill. What, why do you think that the uh, legis legislature uh, made that decision? Are they, is there NRA financing them or? There, there is, uh, there is gun lobby financing and pressure. Um, and that's certainly probably the main factor. Um, also a very extremist interpretation of the Second Amendment has become pretty much an article of faith among Republicans and the Georgia legislature. Too. Awesome. You are uh, awesome to know about this. We, we see over here, we are right on the, uh, this is Abercorn Street in Savannah. What's the uh, response from the uh, moderates so far? We just we just heard one. Yeah, yeah that's good. Definitely. Well, I, I'm sure a hundred percent with you guys. Thank you so much for being involved. I will put this video online. Uh, how do if someone sees you and wants to get involved, how how can they help? All right, here's what you need to do. Not one of us has the right sign, but this is important. Okay. Text the word veto. All you have to do is pull out your phone, uh -huh. text VETO to 64433. Our lovely um, assistant can demonstrate. Okay. If you do that, it'll walk you through the steps and be to be directly connected to Governor Deal and ask him to save the VETO. Awesome. I don't know if... Back and I, I don't know how it shows on the camera, but we're, maybe, maybe it worked. Anyway, uh, definitely this needs to be done. Thank y'all so much for being involved. You have a good day. Thank you.